Hello everybody, welcome to a special video for students studying Comp 1342 at Worcester University. This video explains how to get your file out of After Effects when you finish creating it and up onto YouTube. So if you're one of my other subscribers, this probably isn't going to be very exciting for you, but if you're one of my students who's stuck, this is the video for you. So here I am in After Effects, I've created a wonderful video. exciting stuff I'm sure you'll agree and I want to get this video up onto YouTube. So let's go through the steps to do that. I'm on a Macintosh here but on a PC it's very similar. Go up to the composition menu, open that up and choose add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. And this is the bit where you have to wait quite a while because it loads up a separate program and that program takes ages to load even on this really fast expensive Macintosh that I've got and the computers at uni aren't even as fast as this. So just sit there for a while waiting for it to load. Maybe this will be a good time to tell all your students that they've been really great this year. I've really enjoyed teaching you. Um, it's been a fun experience. Um, thanks for paying attention to me over the years. And I'll just wipe away a quick tear. And there we go, we've actually started to load the program now. I'll just drag this onto the bit of the screen where you can see it. And we're still not ready. We are still waiting for something around here. I'll wiggle the mouse, I'll get bigger so you can see where I'm pointing. Around here, eventually, we got some blue text. There it comes. This is the bit you have to wait for. And there are two things you need to do here. Firstly, you need to check the settings. If it's come up with H.264, you're generally okay there. The important bit here, though, is the output file. If we double-click on the blue text, it'll let us save our file somewhere. And it tends to save it by default in some really stupid places. So I recommend just going to the desktop and saving it there. Give it a name you'll recognize. Um, one second, I'm going to have to put the mic down to do this. There we go. I've now given it a name. And the next thing you need to do is just up here, there is a little green start queue button. It looks like a play button. Once you press that, you will see a progress bar appear over here. Yours won't go as quickly as mine. So be prepared for this to take a little bit of a while. You may start to understand why I've been telling you over and over not to leave this to the last minute. There we go. That took a little while because I've only got a three second video. You hopefully have a lot more going on in yours, so it'll take a bit longer. And that's all you really have to do here. We now have a file on the desktop. I can just quit out of this if I want to or not. The important thing is to go into YouTube in your browser. Just drag that on there. Little tip here, if you're doing a tutorial video, refresh this enough time so there's nothing too embarrassing on the screen uh, because it gives you previews of the kind of videos you've been watching. And what you're looking for here is you're looking for this little upload thingy just around here. When you click on that, you'll get the upload screen. You can drag and drop your file into this window, just like that. And you'll see a processing bar going along the top of the screen. This can take a very long time. So again, try not to leave this to the last minute, but because I've got an incredibly simple video, our progress bar has gone across quite quickly. Now you can set all sorts of things like a description, add tags, add to playlists, choose thumbnails. You're not being marked on any of that, so don't think you really need to do any of that. But there is one really important thing you actually have to get right on this, which is this menu here. You have three choices. You can make your video public, so anybody can search for it, anybody can watch it. And I know quite a few, lot of you don't really want to do that because you're maybe embarrassed or you run a channel for something completely different. Whatever reason, you don't have to make it public. You must make it, in that case, unlisted. Unlisted means anybody you send the link to can see it. If you choose private, nobody but you can see it. And that means that when I come to market, I can't see it, I can't give you any marks. So if you want to be a bit private about this, put it on unlisted and that'll be fine. Now at this point, we're actually done. We've got the done button. 
we can just cut and paste this web address here and hand that in. Remember, you're submitting a Word document for this module that's got your Harvard referencing in. It's got um, a link to the YouTube in it as well. And this is where you get that link. So we can press done just to make sure. Can cut and paste this link. And you may just be able to hear my cat coming and standing on the keyboard right in the middle of me trying to do this. So there we go. We're on YouTube and our video works. That's all we really needed to do. And great, there's nothing too embarrassing in the previews for that either. So there it is. That's all you really need to do to get your video up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being great students this year. And best of luck with your submissions. Bye.